Hello, I'm Dr. Karim Kerji, York Region's Medical Officer of Health. Our cases are at an all-time high. The numbers of outbreaks in institutions has been increasing. We have lots of outbreaks in our workplaces. And the numbers of schools under surveillance is around 50. The average number of cases a day is over 90. And our positivity rate is over 4%. Since an individual who tests positive for COVID-19 is infectious for about two days prior to the onset of symptoms, it is important for us to consider anyone outside of our own households to be potentially infectious. This means then we ought to be limiting severely the numbers of contacts that we have with people outside our own households. Do not socialize with people outside your own household. We understand there may be some exceptional situations, but remember, every such situation results in the potential of infection spreading. On our website at york.ca slash COVID-19, you will find a public notice which gives a good example of how, around the Thanksgiving period, infection spread amongst households because of individuals not having stuck to the guidelines. Remember, even if you have mild symptoms, do not mingle with other individuals. The most important thing that you can do is to maintain a distance of two meters or more from other individuals outside your household. This means even when you go outside shopping, because the transmission rates are high, you could easily acquire COVID-19. So ensure that you limit the numbers of visits you make outside your home. And even when you are in situations where you are advised to wear masks, Remember, masks are an additional layer of protection. You must try and maintain your two meters physical distance from others. If you find yourselves in situations where there are crowds, please extract yourselves from those situations. It is very easy for you now to acquire COVID-19 in the community and bring it into your households. This then brings me to another point and the point about self-isolation. When you're asked to self-isolate, you have to use your own room, your own washroom, keep your distance from other members of the family, and keep sanitizing the different areas that are commonly touched. It is important that we restrict the transmission to the rest of the family. So remember, in terms of precautions you have to take, Maintain two meters distances, wear masks where two meter distances cannot be maintained and where required by law, wash your hands frequently, use the usual cuff etiquette, and get the flu shot, download the COVID-19 app, and if you have symptoms, don't go out, but certainly seek testing, and seek testing even if you've had close contact with a case of COVID-19. We are entering the time where we are going to be celebrating Halloween. This year, the celebrations have to be different. In keeping with the principle of not mixing with other households, the province has asked those jurisdictions that are in a modified stage two to not to go door to door and practice our usual trick and treating. There are many other creative ways in which we can practice Halloween safely. I would suggest that you access our website, york.ca slash COVID-19 for many other ways of celebrating Halloween. So let's stay vigilant and we can be safe and we can bring our numbers down. It's very important that you restrict 
any contact with members outside your households. Thank you and stay safe.